city living is so complex and bustle that we don't seem to have much time to think about our physical well-being. We hurry to work, rush to catch trains and buses and grab quick meals with a vague thought in the back of our minds that sometime we should do something about it. We might feel a whole lot better with a little regular exercise. Of course, we'd have to make the time. Time, heavens, five to one. Few of us really feel on top of the world. Many of us spend our working days doing jobs which round our shoulders and cramp our limbs. We use only a few sets of muscles for hours at a time. These jobs don't hurt us. If we can't wreck their physical effects and monotony by regular physical and mental recreation, if after a day's hard work, whether in a factory or in the home, we change to movements that loosen up our cramped limbs. known as rhythmical gymnastics, are to encourage good health and perfect body control. Unlike the physical jerks of yesterday, these exercises develop the body as a coordinated unit, and relaxing and swinging movements like these use all the muscles with the spine as the center of movement. They give the whole body freedom and suppleness and beauty. But rhythmical gymnastics are not limited to a few movements, and the pleasure of doing the exercises is increased by their variety. The vigorous use of the whole body is exhilarating. A continual change between muscular contraction and relaxation, stimulating to the circulation. Viennese trained Giza Taglicht, who has introduced rhythmical gymnastics to many women and girls in the last nine years, is taking this YWCA class. movements are fitted to the natural breathing rhythm, thus making for ease of movement, without fatigue or breathlessness. These girls, members of a weekly YWCA class, are teachers, students, business girls and housewives. In finding time to learn and practice these exercises, they find they have more energy and that their minds are less tired and more able to enjoy recreation. Working together in rhythmic movement helps to make this a pleasant way for these girls and women to attain suppleness and grace and to continue the basic physical education taught in our schools. By spending three quarters of an hour twice a week after work, they've done a great deal to improve their health. 